Meanwhile, PNC visited the home of Dmitry Lobanov and his wife, Irina Vag, in Agate today, where we saw both Guam police and NCIS agents conducting further investigation. Outside Lobanov's home was a black leather sofa with what appeared to be burn marks ripped apart to shreds. Neighbors tell PNC that Lobanov cleaned out his house sometime last week after Guam police conducted an investigation into his wife's murder. One neighbor tells us he saw Lobanov at a gas station after the murder. He says Lobanov appeared distraught. So he asked, you guys asked him, hey, you know, how are you doing? And he said, yeah, I did ask him, he said, hey, sir, can I speak? I said, man, I can't, I can't speak right now. I said, all right, shoot, take it easy. That's it. Joint Region Mariana's Public Affairs Officer Lieutenant Tim Gorman says Lobanov was a logistics specialist on the USS Frank Cable. Lobanov and his wife had just moved to Guam last June after he was stationed in Norfolk, Virginia for three years. Lobanov enlisted in the Navy in 1999 and was a resident of New York prior to joining the military. A shipmate tells us that Lobanov joined the Navy shortly after moving to the U.S. from Russia when he was just 19 years old. So in terms of behavioral problems, I, I don't, uh, just from looking at his, uh, his service record here, I, I don't see any indication of that. Uh, he had two good conduct medals in the Navy. Lobanov's shipmate also tells PNC that Lobanov never showed any signs of aggression. He says Lobanov seemed like a gentle and friendly person. On the Frank Cable today, the shipmate says everyone who spoke of Lobanov had nothing but nice things to say about him. I have talked to um, a couple of his shipmates today, and I know that uh, they have a chaplain on board, and they're uh, in the process of uh, assisting anyone who, who may need counseling. We are saddened by the loss of our sailor and his wife and express our heartfelt condolences to their family and friends. Lieutenant Gorman says he's not aware of any reports that Lobanov was on suicide watch after his wife's murder. Balahaja says there are no cameras inside of the Hagatnya precinct.